In this video, we're going to look at further adding mixed number examples. So we've got 4 and 3 fifths plus 5 and 9 tenths. So if you remember, first thing I'm going to do is going to add my whole numbers together. I get 9, and then I add my fractions together. I've got 3 fifths plus 9 tenths. So when adding fractions, you've got to make sure you have common denominator. So the lowest common de denominator, 5 and 10, is 10. So that means for this first fraction here, to get from 5 to 10, I have to multiply by 2. So I must multiply the 3 by 2. That comes from 6. And the second one, well, 10 and 10 are the same, so it's just 9 tenths. So 6 tenths plus 9 tenths is um, 15 tenths. And I can simplify this down because 5 goes into 15 and 10, so that becomes 3 over 2. And I can't leave it as a top-heavy fraction, so 3 halves is the same as 1 and a half. So what I've got now is I've got my 9, and I've got my 1 and a half. So 9 plus 1 and a half will give me 10 and a half, and that's my answer. So let's look at our second example. So the first thing is let's add our two whole numbers. So 2 add 3 is 5. And now let's add our two fractions, 5 sevenths plus 2 thirds. Now 5 sevenths plus 2 thirds, I need a common denominator. Well, that would be 21. It's the lowest number that they both are in both their times tables. So I've had to multiply this side by 3. So 5 times 3 would be 15 on the, on the numerator there. The second side I must have times by 7 to get 21 on the bottom. So that becomes 14. Now 15 plus 15 twenty first plus 14 twenty first is 29 twenty firsts. Now I can't leave it like that. I need to change it back into a mixed number. Well, 21 twenty first is a whole, so I've got one whole, and that would leave me with eight left over. So last thing I need to do is bring down my five and my one and eight twenty firsts, and that will give me six and eight. 20.